Okay, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm just going to briefly go over how to create and also rig a tail on a character. So I do have a set of joints in place, but we do not have the controls set up yet, which we will do shortly. And just to show that, I'll unlock this and make sure it's unlocked. So we haven't got the controls created yet. Okay, just a single character and we are using of course the human IK system. So I'm going to come into my right view um, and I'm going to create a joint chain and we're going to connect that joint chain into the uh, root of our skeleton. Okay, so first I go skeleton, create joints and I'm just going to run this joint chain along the top here, just from around here, holding shift this allows me to create a joint chain that's nice and straight by holding shift. Okay. And I can adjust these joints um, because they are a little bit too high. See that? They're starting to po poke off the top here. And I can just come in closer so you can actually see that. Now I'll hit enter. So I'll just bring the joint chain down a little bit so it's through the tip of the tail there. About there. That's a bit better. Okay, now um, I like to rig the tail straight and then once I add the controls for the tail, then I can you know, create that S shape, U shape, etc. later on. All right, just makes it easier. Okay, so um, let's now parent this, um, this controls into our main um, hierarchy. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to shift select the root after selecting the base of the tail. I'm going to go skeleton, um, connect joint, make sure that parent joint is connected, is selected, connect. So it's connected into the rig. Okay. Now, next up, we better name these joints because they're not named correctly so far. So we'll come into here, hit F. There we go. So just called joint one. If I were to open this right up, see. Now, there is a quicker way of naming all these. If I just select them all, I'm going to go control and just go through and grab each of these. And I can come up to, because they're called joint one, etc. So I'm going to come up to modify and search and replace names. And I'm going to take joint. Um, okay, and then I'll put it instead with tail. And I'll go replace. And there we go, tail one, two, three, four, five. Much quicker, much simpler. Fantastic. So that's what we're after. Um, so next up, I'm going to hide the um, the base mesh. This way we can work with this a lot easier. And what we want to do is create what's called an IK spline handle. So go skeleton, IK spline handle. Okay, these are great for like tentacles and anything that's really bendy, swishy, swashy, etc. like tails. Um, let's check out the options. So I have them set up like this. Auto parent curve turned off and I've got number of spans set to three. And then I will click the root and to the root of the tail all the way to the tip like that. Now what's that done? It's created an IK handle and a curve. Down here you can see that. Okay, so let's now come in here and I'm gonna just hide these joints so as we can actually see the little IK um, curve because it is quite tiny. It's behind there, but it's very, very small. So to do that, I'm going to come in to show and I'm gonna turn joints off like that. Now I can grab the curve, right click on that curve and select control vertex. There we go. So now in here, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of little dots, pink dots, one, two, three, four, five, six of them I've got. So these are what control, see they're moving the spline like that. And if I were to turn the joints on, you can actually see them moving, manipulating those joints. There you go. Okay, so just for now, I'm gonna turn those joints back off. And I'm going to select each of these um, little pink knots. There's one there. And we're going to go deform cluster. 
that puts a little C, a little green C right there. And this is my first cluster, and I'll call this tail cluster one. Okay, now let's grab the next one. So I'm always right clicking, going control vertex. Grab this one, and I just hit G on my on my keyboard to repeat the last action. This one will be tail cluster two, like that. Okay, so right click, control vertex. So I'm just coming through, hit G, repeat the last tail cluster three. So I'll just do that for all of these, control vertex, just going down the line here, this one too, once again, nearly finished. What's this, uh, four? Okay, right click, control vertex, there's another two here, nearly done. Five, and one more, grab that one. Whoops, not the IK handle. I'm going to grab that one again. Just there. Make sure you don't grab the IK handle. And this will be tail cluster six. There we go. So I've got all these little clusters. Now, what can we do with these clusters? Well, for a start, we're able to select them and move the tail like that. But what we really want to do is use these and place a control instead of a cluster. So let's create a NURBS primitive circle. Bring this up to up into position. First I'll turn on the joints so as we can see what we're actually doing here again. Okay. So we're just going to um, position these, scale them, just bring them up and rotate. Yeah. Um, so I want these over top of the um, the clusters over the C, just around there. They don't have to be perfectly in place. Okay, so that's one of them, and I'll just call this one tail control one. Okay, and um, we need to modify freeze the transforms. Um, now let's duplicate this a couple of times, and each time I'm just going to scale them down a little bit and keep moving them across. Better to make this in my right viewport actually. Um, scale this one down a bit. Way over here. D. Um, it's probably be better off if I have my tail turned on. One more. And make this one smaller again. Not too small that you can't actually select them, but small enough. There we go. Okay, great. So I'm just going to name these um, Tail Control 2, Tail Control 3. Oh, great, they're already done. Um, but you'll notice that the um, freeze transforms are not set on some of these. So I'm just going to go modify, freeze transform, hit G to repeat. G, G and G. There we go. So now we've got our clusters and our tail controls. So next up we need to um, constrain, parent constrain, each of the clusters to a control. So to do that I will select, um, remember select them in the opposite order, so you'll select your control first and then my cluster um, just remember one thing here, um, this is very important, that very first cluster in the tail here, it does not require a control. We don't actually um, have to move it up and down, it's going to be actually parented in to the hierarchy of the rig here. So I'm just going to delete this one, All right, and instead I'll go to the second one. So I'll go that one there to the second one here and I'm going to go constrain parent make sure maintain offsets on and I'll do the same for each of those so I'll grab the control I'll grab the and I'll just hit G grab this one and this one 
Whoops, better make sure I've got the right ones here. Oh, they're the wrong. So I'll do that again. That one and this one, that's better. Hit G. That's correct. And this one, number five and number five, hit G. And number six and number six and hit G. Remember G is just repeat last action. Okay, so I can test these now and let's see if they actually move with it. And that one's not. Did I select them in the wrong order? Okay, this one here I must have selected in the wrong order. So give me a minute and I'll just fix that. To fix that, notice it's all blue, which means it's got a constraint. I could grab all those, right click and break the connection. So it's no longer got the constraint there. And let's do this one again. So I'll grab that first and then come to my number four cluster. Constrain parent. Let's try that. Okay, that's better. Okay, so that's how you break a constraint. Or one way. Okay, so there we go. We've got that all in place. We're nearly there, by the way. Um, next up, let's create our controls for the rig itself. So to do that, back here, I'll just go control. By the way, if you've already got, got controls created, um, it's fine as well. I'm just going to click the control here. Boom. And it's going to generate all the controls. Fantastic. I'm going to turn off the FK, which are the yellow joints. Turn on my there, see? This one here allows me to view the joints. Fantastic. So I'm in a good position now to take that cluster, which was cluster one. And if I move it up and down, see that? We want to parent that one into our root control here. So I'll just hit P. And we'll see what we get. Does it move with it? Yes, it does. Nice. That's what you're after. That cluster needs to be parented to the hip control. Okay, so the rest of them, um, I can go grab this and shift select this, 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 and this one too. All right, and I will parent these all into that cluster there. So to do that, where is that cluster? It's now, let me check exactly where it is first. It's up inside the geo. Let's grab that cluster. It's going to come in a little bit closer. Not that. Can't quite grab that cluster because it's now been parented into the root here. Um, let's have a look. It might be directly under it here. There's the hips. I'm not seeing it there. Should I turn off the joints so I won't select the joints? There we go. And if I hit F, now I can see it in here. There it is. Okay. Um, I probably would have been better off parenting this one later. This would have made it a little bit easier. But that's okay. Um, I will now select each of these controls. Here they are. So I'll go from number six. Um, grab that like this. And I'm going to drop those. I'm going to parent them all into this one here, middle mouse drag and drop. So I should be able to grab that cluster and move it. Yep. And this root and move it. There you go. So it's all moving with the root now. Fantastic. So it goes up and down. That's what you want to achieve. I can then grab this one. It'll move. Yes. This one. It'll then all move independently. Fantastic. Okay, so I could now, so that's the um, how to create a tail control, um, how to rig a tail, just to show you that it is working. Um, I'll quickly bind this mesh. I better turn the joints back on, joint selection. Select this, skin, bind skin, and I'll just drop on a. Um, Delta Mush Deformer, just to see what we get here. There we go, nice. Nicely skin weighted out of the box with a Delta Mush Deformer. And test that, yep, fantastic. Okay guys, that's that done. Okay, and you can see the tail in action right there. Nice one. 
Okay, so there we go. Thanks for watching.